All right, let me clarify this whole thing now. People are saying, oh, popcorns, let uh, kill the momentum. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stop that. One, it's not that any of us were buying AMC stocks to make it go up. It's not that. We've tried that before, and it's been proven not to work. What happens is that that letter, while it was addressed to us, it was also to probably calm the fears of those on the other side that could start covering. I want to I want to share something with you, very important for you to understand. They don't fear us; they fear our reaction of a high AMC number and getting out, and then obviously these guys being forced to cover, and then they're left with no apes to you know take for money in the future. So here's the deal. That letter was put out there to calm the fears of certain, let's just say, little D's that might just say, oh, it's over, time to go. But I want to put something out there. That letter did not put extra AMC shares on the market. That letter did not reduce the cost to borrow. That letter did not erase the FTDs that are out there. There's more coming this week. That letter did not do anything to the liquidity crunches happening all over. That letter did not do anything to the reality that the market is on its way down and the dollar's on its way up. Remember, there was no interest rate uh, hike this time. That letter, at the end of the day, is nothing. Because at the end of the day, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Friday, next week, two weeks from now, the Tuesday you're not even thinking about, they still don't got the reverse split approved. People keep thinking it's only Monday. It's not. The reverse split is not approved. That merger is not approved. It was blocked, that settlement. And they put in another settlement offer, and it don't mean nothing. Because technically speaking, if the way I'm thinking about it, that's going to be open for debate as well. What I'm trying to tell you is this. Enjoy the ride. Because this is going to be the longest Monday of anybody's life. It's going to spend like three days, four days, a week, two weeks. Good luck, because where are they going to solve all the problems I just listed? Today is today, tomorrow is tomorrow, and next week you get fucked up. I don't care. Enjoy some coffee.